Hi, I'm Heidi Henson. I'm the band director here at Sturgeon Bay High School. It is my honor and privilege today to be here awarding and recognizing our most deserving seniors who have been with us for four years in our band program and have, have been such a vital part of our program, entertaining us and growing as musicians and most importantly, growing as people who are ready for the world beyond high school. Today, I'm gonna to start with our director's award. This award always goes to an outstanding individual. It goes to a couple different people, but outstanding individuals who demonstrate the qualities of a fine leader among their peers, both musically and personally. And it also goes to someone who goes out of their way to go the extra mile for our band program to help us be the best that we can be. This year, our director's award goes to senior Derek Sternard. Derek has been such a vital part of our program. He's a very quiet young man who doesn't say much, but plays a mean trombone. And Derek is somebody who, in his quiet way, he helps the band program all the time. He helps move equipment. He's the kind of guy that comes up to me and says, do you know this kid isn't playing in rehearsal? What are we going to do about that? And how can I help get this kid to a lesson? And it is really, an amazing thing to have a person like Derek Sternard in our band program who is behind the scenes, not looking to be the sage on the stage, but always helping everyone he encounters. So Derek, congratulations on being this year's Band Directors Award. Thank you for all of you, that you have done for our band program and thank you for your commitment to excellence, both in the classroom and in life. Congratulations, Derek. Our next awards are the Patrick S. Gilmore Band Awards. These are band awards that were first introduced in the year 1994 in honor of the legendary 19th century bandmaster and cornet impresario. Patrick Gilmore and his band joined General Burnside's expedition to North Carolina in the Civil War, where they played for the troops and cared for wounded soldiers. Gilmore also played for every president of his day, from Buchanan to Cleveland, including Abraham Lincoln. The award honors additional students and band for their outstanding musicianship, leadership, achievement, because there can only be one Sousa Award recipient in each school in our country. This year, we have two most deserving students for the Patrick S. Gilmore Band Awards. Our first one is somebody who is an incredible musician and offers a lot to our band program in terms of both musicianship, musical excellence, and humor. The first award goes to Emmett Gettleman, who is a saxophone player with an incredible mind. He is a very, very bright boy with an eye for detail, both in music and in his other academics. He also has an incredible sense of humor, and when things get tough, Emmett can be the guy who can lighten the situation and keep our band moving forward. This year, a prime example of Emmett's incredible musicianship was right before Solo Ensemble. Emmett was working on the Aubert Concerto de Camera, and Emmett had nailed this solo. He had it so well that even his accompanist couldn't keep up with him. It was an incredible thing. And after working about five weeks with an accompanist, he was so fast at it and, and, and we just couldn't keep up with him. Nobody who played the piano could keep up with him. It really needed to be accompanied by a full orchestra. And about a week before festival, his accompanist turned to him and said, can you play something else? And he goes, yeah, sure, no problem. And by golly, that boy picked up a different solo that he had never worked on before. And one week later, played it for a judge. He went to state. Not only did he go to state, but he received a perfect score at the District Solo Ensemble Festival. That is exactly who Emmett is as a musician. He is one of those kids who puts the time in behind the scenes all the time and practices he is a band director's dream for how he goes home and practices on his own. So Emmett Gettleman, congratulations. You are our first Gilmore Award this year.
Our next Gilmore Award this year goes to a young lady who also encompasses that same spirit of practice. She puts a lot of time in outside of the classroom, but she also has put in a lot of time in the classroom. She's gone the extra mile for us, including changing a family vacation so that this year she could be this year's drum major in our high school band. She plays an incredible flute. She has a, a, an eye for detail, an ear for detail, and she has always taken her flute section and all of the woodwinds under her wing. This year's other Patrick S. Gilmore Band Award goes to somebody else who this year at the District Music Festival received a perfect score on her solo card and has consistently done a solo every year for four years, Miss Natalie Tremper. Congratulations, Natalie Tremper. Our next band award is the Louis Armstrong Jazz Band Award. This award was introduced in 1974 with the approval of his widow, Lucille Armstrong, to honor in outstanding jazz musicians. The Armstrong Award recognizes the highest achievement in jazz performance for a senior in each high school in the United States that chooses to participate in the awards program. This year, our recipient is somebody who is a very bright boy, plays a mean saxophone, and I offered the students a scale challenge a number of years ago. I said, if you can play all of your major scales with no mistakes in two minutes or less, you can have the quarter off of, scale, uh, of taking a lesson with me. I'll just credit you out. I'll comp you up. Well, this boy, he did this the very next day. It was lickety split, popped one off, popped another off, and pretty soon 12 major scales were done with arpeggios and perfectly. And that's the kind of musician he is. But that's not all. He also has an incredible ear for harmony and melody. And he can pick things up and works on music outside of music just to see what he can figure out. If there's a pop song on the radio that he likes the, music, the melody to, you can bet he'll come into class playing it within a week. <laughs> because he'll just figure it out. He won't look up the music. He'll write it down himself. He'll figure it out by ear. He is also an impressive improv artist in our jazz band. When nobody else will play a solo, I look at this kid and I go, hey, will you do it? And he goes, yes, of course. Sure nobody else wants it? And he'll look around caring about his peers and having them have a chance but when, it, when push comes to shove, he's always there. And if somebody was biffing a solo during a performance, he'd pick up and join in. And that's the way he has been since he was a freshman. He has an incredible ear for jazz. He has an incredible heart for jazz music and all music. And this year, our Louis Armstrong Jazz Award recipient will have their name on our school plaque that remains with the school and will get a desk set as well as this award. This year's Louis Armstrong Jazz Band Award recipient, Fletcher Hubbard. Congratulations, Fletcher. Our final award for band today is the John Philip Sousa Band Award. It was first introduced in 1955 to honor the outstanding dedication and superior musicianship of a high school band senior. It was created with the cooperation of Helen Souza Albert and Priscilla Souza, the daughters of, of the famous band composer and band master. This award is the highest honor in band. The award criteria include being a senior, being a soloist with outstanding musicianship and leadership in the band program, and being involved in every facet of the band program with exemplary dedication. This year's award recipient was part of our jazz band for all of his four years in high school, was part of our concert band and wind ensemble, and sometimes even took two bands with an extremely heavy academic load on top of that, has played almost all pep bands. This year, he had too much homework one night and said, can we find somebody else to do it? And has kept our pep band playing continuously for four years. He's an incredible musician with an incredible sense of time feel. And on top of that, 
He has an incredible sense for what our band program needs to grow and keep moving forward. He cares not just about himself as a musician, but about growing others as well. And that has been a, a key piece in watching our band program grow and change over the years. This year's John Philip Sousa Award recipient also went to solo ensemble this year and played a class A drum solo. He also got a perfect score at District Solo Ensemble. That shows his kind of musicianship. He also has been involved with the Wisconsin Ambassadors of Music and went on the 2018 European tour with 300 other musicians from Wisconsin. When he came back from that experience, he shared a lot of what he learned with me, helping me be a better musician and a better teacher. I think that spells out pretty much who this child is as a musician. And this year's John Philip Sousa Band Award recipient goes to DJ Lenius. Congratulations, DJ Lenius. We are so proud of you, and we are so proud of all of our senior musicians. Thank you all, seniors, for all that you have done to make our band program strong and solid, and may the Clipper ship of band continue to sail. Thank you to the Sturgeon Bay Breakfast Rotary Club who honors our artists throughout the county. This year, our Rotary Arts Band Award goes to someone who has put a lot of heart and soul into the band through his gifts, both in the classroom, out of the classroom, for the athletic area with playing for pep band and keeping us, keeping the motor running and keeping pep band fun and somebody who has gone out of his way a million times for our band program with our drum line. Our drum line has evolved immensely over the last few years because of his leadership. This is a young man who also will come to me and say, hey, we need some new life in this pep band repertoire. We need, some, we need something different. And in the summertime, I challenged him. I said, okay, game on. You can come in and you can help pick the, all the pep band songs. Here's your date, here's your time frame when I'm gonna be there. Show up, let's do it. And this young man did this and brought friends. And it was really, it really was a boost where we needed it in our program. That speaks volumes of his character and heart for our band program, as well as his leadership and dedication. Playing all but one pep bands and playing in our jazz band, playing in our concert band, our wind ensemble, Mr. DJ Lenius. Congratulations, you are our Breakfast Rotary Club Band Arts Award recipient. Hi, I'm Leslie Hill. I am the choir and drama director here at Sturgeon Bay High School. It has been my pleasure and privilege to have worked with our choir and drama award winners, all of whom I was fortunate enough to teach in both middle school and high school. They have grown and matured so much, both musically and personally, in the time that I've known them. Each of these students has brought his or her own unique talents and leadership to our program and will be sadly missed, and have been sadly missed this semester, actually, but also as they continue and graduate and start their new lives in new di directions. Our first award today is the Rotary Choral Music Award. Natalie Tremper has been involved in every aspect of music during her high school years. She has shared her talents in all our choirs and our bands. She has also performed in the Pitt Orchestra for our high school musicals. In addition to her strong musical talent, Natalie brings positive leadership and a compassionate caring to every group with whom she is performing. Natalie has a show choir t-shirt that reads on the back, Team Mom and that is what she has been in the best sense of the term. We will miss her musical leadership as well as her concern for others as she begins the next chapter of her life at NWTC this fall. Congratulations, Natalie. Our next award winner is the Rotary Drama Award winner. When you are directing a high school musical, it's important to have on stage people upon whom you can rely people who understand their character, remember their lines, and help bring the cast together. Maddie Blonick 
has done all this and much more in our Sturgeon Bay High School musicals. As a sophomore, she earned the leading role in our production of Mary Poppins, and her portrayal was outstanding. This year, she landed a key role in our production of Les Miserables and was a driving force in that production. Madel Madeline's intelligence, tenacity, and talent make her an ideal recipient of the Rotary Drama Award. Congratulations, Maddie. Our next award is from both Mrs. Hintz and myself, and this is the Peninsula Players Outstanding Student Award. How can you tell when a person is truly passionate about music? Is it when they participate in choir for seven consecutive years? Or would it be when they sign up to take all the extra music courses offered at Sturgeon Bay High School? Or perhaps that passion would show itself in enthusiastic participation in our high school musicals. Shelby LaViolet, this year's Peninsula Players Outstanding Student Award winner, has done all this and more in her high school career. She has been a consistent leader in her choirs, providing guidance to younger students. She has participated enthusiastically in music courses, and her contributions to our high school musicals have been consistently top-notch. It is with great pleasure that we bestow upon Shelby this acknowledgement of all that she has accomplished in her high school career. Congratulations, Shelby. The next award is for Chorus, and it's the Director's Award for Chorus. This award is given to a choir member who has consistently contributed to the choral music ensembles at Sturgeon Bay High School. This year's recipient of this award is someone who has participated in choir throughout middle school and high school. He has taken part in solo and ensemble festival every year, earning top scores for all his performances. He has also performed with City Rhythm, our high school show choir, leading the tenor section. For his dedication to singing and to the choir program at Sturgeon Bay High School, it is my pleasure to present the Director's Award to Mr. <clears throat> Ian Vitella. Congratulations, Ian. Finally, uh, we would like to present the National School Choral Award. This award is a given to a choir member who has consistently shown leadership and passion for the choral arts. This year's recipient has exemplified those characteristics throughout her years in middle school and high school choir. She has been someone I can count on to fill any vocal part from tenor to soprano at a moment's notice. Her hardworking attitude and high standards have made her an excellent leader in our choirs. As a member of our show choir throughout all her high school years, she has been our go-to person whenever we had choreography or staging questions. Her passion for music has extended itself to consistently high levels of performance at the district and state solo and ensemble festivals. It is my pleasure to present the National School Choral Award to Sydney Fellhofer. Congratulations, Sydney. <clears throat> 